Will they go too fast given the conditions? It's such a competitive field. Will the jockeys keep their cool heads here as they jump away for the 50th running of the Hennessy Cognac Gold Cup and running towards the first in the yellow sleeves is Parsons Legacy that leads with Idle Talk and Preacher Boy in the black jacket towards the far side with Blocker Boy as they clear fence number one and they're all safely over. After the front three or four, the Grey Ross Com with Napolitain and Cornish Rebel towards the inside and State of Play right up the inside on the right in a blue jacket as they jump the second and open ditch. Uh, there are Dar, he wasn't too fluent in the midfield in a green jacket. They head along towards the third. Parsons Legacy from Preacher Boy, Wide of Idle Talk and Ross Com State of Play the inside. And then behind these Cornish Rebel, Vodka Blur, Mistake by Napolitain. And they are followed by Bother Nar towards the inside. White cap turf in green. Green cap Juvenier, both in Trevor Hemmings' colours. Uh, they're in the second half of the field at the moment as they go towards the fourth. Parsons' legacy just led again. From idle talk in the red cap, away to the left, Preacher Boy, further far side, Vodka Blur. The orange colours are presenting Express now very handy. And then Roscom, away to the right is State of Play in that blue jacket. Followed by Napolitain and Omni Cosmo, touch slight mistake from Cornish Rebel there. Then Juvenier and Turpin Green are Dahi in the green and white jacket. Montjumont is held up towards the rear. Celtic Bard is the back marker as they now swing left-handed out of the back straight for the first time. The next fence they jump will be the cross fence, fence number six taken on the descent and uh, Montjumont having gone off the 9-2 favourite here just ahead of Turpin Green at 5-1 down the hill and uh, something's gone very wide going to the cross fence there it looks like Ardahi is either run out uh, difficult to steer but anyway Ardahi is out of the race going towards the cross fence and this has left presenting Express who now leads Preacher Boy into second place Turpin Green there Tony Dobbin in the white cap is second last at the moment. Uh, forget the horse in last place on that shot. Ardar, he's out of the race. It looks as though something's gone wrong with the tack. Maybe the bit has slipped through the mouth. But on down the straight towards the next plane fence. Presenting Express from Preacher Boy. Idle talk is close up. The early front runner passes. Let's see back in fourth. A bit slow there. Vodka Blur on the near side in the blue and green jacket. The grey Ross Com. State of play on the far side. The next is an open ditch. They're followed by Omni Cosmo Touch and Juvenier jumping the ditch now. Further back in the Politane, then Cornish Rebel just gives the impression hasn't been jumping that fluently. Uh, behind uh, Cornish Rebel, then Mongemont, Bothernar, the inside Turpin Green still held up out the back with Celtic Bard as they clear the next. On now to another plane fence, then the water, the tenth fence coming up with just over a circuit left to travel. This is fence number 10 of 21, and it's presenting Express and Barry Fenton, who leads the way with Preacher Boy in second place. In third is Idle Talk. Fourth is Parsons Legacy. State of play on the far side. Midfield runners. Mick Fitzgerald on Juvenier. Roscom and Vodka Blur has been out wide all the way. Then Montjumont as they jump the water right in front of the stand here. Presenting Express fiddled over. They're all safely over. There's about 15 to 20 lengths between first and last. Turpin Green at the back. Not going that well at the moment. Looks in trouble. Has dropped to last Turpin Green under Tony Dobbin. He's not going well enough to win from there. And it looks as though he's going to be pulled up in fact, Turpin Green is out of the race, the second favourite. They run to the back straight now, so two out of the race after one lap, and it's presenting Express and Preacher Boy stride for stride as they head towards the first down the back straight. Parsons' legacy is close with Idle Talk as they clear this. Good jump from Idle Talk there. Juvenier is back in fifth place from Montjumon. State of play has cut every corner right round the inside in the blue jacket right of your picture. On the far side, in contrast, going the long way is Vodka Blur with a clear view of the fences. Juvenier in the green cap in the centre. Montjumon's going well in behind them, followed by Napolitain on the Cosmo Touch. Bodenar, Cornish Rebel in the red and white jacket, and Celtic Bard as they clear the next and still plenty of contenders in this 50th running of the Hennessy Cognac Gold Cup and it's the big horse Preacher Boy in the black and yellow star jacket presenting Express on the near side between the pair Carson's legacy as they jump the next uh, they're clear then of State of Play who continues to run right up the inside under Paul Maloney as they now run to the final fence in the back straight Vodka Blur still in touch with Idle Talk and then Montjuvenier is being asked a few questions and then on no 
has no touch behind these. A dropping right out being pulled up is Bothernar as they now run to the end of the back straight. Well grouped together, the leading, or oh, it must be 10, 11, 12 horses. Preacher Boy, Presenting Express, Idle Talk in the stripe jacket, Vodka Blur right there. Also Parsons Legacy, Mangemont, and then State of Play, Juvenier is still in touch, maybe going a little better now than he was as they run down to the cross fence once again. This is five out there coming to. Preacher Boy in the centre, away to the right is State of Play, a mistake, a slight mistake by Mangemont there, Idle Talk being driven, Vodka Blur still going well on the near side under Timmy Murphy as they now run round the final turn. They've got four fences left to jump. Preacher Boy is going to turn in first. Preacher Boy and Lake Naspel with Vodka Blur still coming wide on the left under Timmy Murphy. State of play. Then Mongemont is being driven hard. Juvenier trying to get into the race as well as they run down towards the fourth last. Preacher Boy with about two lengths on State of play. Vodka Blur the near side. Juvenier is driven along in fourth, followed by Mongemont. Then uh, only Cosmo Touch, Idle Talk and Parsons Legacy. This is the final low position. State of play. Absolutely winged it there to take over from Preacher Boy, pulling up at the back presenting Express and Roscom. It's State of Play that takes over now. Juvenier is chasing over two out. State of Play followed by Juvenier in second. Preacher Boy looking tired in third and then on the Cosmo Touch and it's State of Play by six or seven lengths under Paul Maloney heading towards the final fence. State of Play comes in to take it, jumps in well, slightly away to the left. Juvenier won't give in in second place. They're clear of Preacher Boy and Omni Cosmo Touch running on, but it's state of play for the rising, jumping, training talent of Evan Williams. Paul Maloney, true of driving for all his work. Juvenier and Mick Fitzgerald are trying hard, but it's state of play's Hennessy Cognac Gold Cup. State of play wins it. From in second, Juvenier. Third is Preacher Boy, Omni Cosmo Touch in fourth. Followed then by Parsons Legacy, Idle Talk was sixth, Mangemont next, Celtic Bard, and they look to be the only uh, only finishers. Everything else has pulled up, including Vodka Blur, also Bother Nar, Cornish Rebel, Napolitain, Presenting Express, they all pulled up. It's gone to state of play. Friendless in the betting, out to 10 to 1 on the day. But his trainer, Evan Williams, is just doing everything right at the moment, and this horse looks superb before the race.